What is up everybody, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian, and in today's video guys, we are going to be checking in with the mental state of Russian propaganda pundits. Or maybe I should say, welcome to a brand new video in which I'm gonna be discussing a situation that everybody has been discussing on the Russian internet for the past two weeks, however, I only just got to it. But all of you guys are clueless westerners anyway who don't know better, so you think I'm bringing the hottest content out there. <laughs> but anyways guys, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Russian propaganda pundit Margarita Simonyan and her uh, very recent, very questionable statements in which she actually suggested dropping a thermonuclear bomb in Siberia. Yes, guys, if you know a thing or two about Russian propaganda, you know that they love to make nuclear threats to other countries. Да и Россия единственная страна в мире, которая реально способна превратить США в радиоактивный пепел. However, a Russian propagandist suggesting the idea of nuking Russia, now that's something new. <laughs> And this situation has been absolutely blowing up on Russian social media recently. But if you guys are not actually aware of who Margarita Simonyan is, she's one of Russia's main propaganda pundits. She is actually the owner and the CEO of Russian propaganda outlets Russia Today and Sputnik. She's well connected with the Russian government. And the way I'd really put it is uh, she's not really known to be a very nice person. Well, essentially, here's what happened recently. Margarita Simonyan on her Telegram page has posted about a new drone attack in the southern region of Russia, and apparently, according to Margarita Simonyan, this drone crashed not far from her house where she grew up in Russia. She said that the West and Ukraine are escalating the situation further, and the only thing that Russia can do is give the West a nuclear ultimatum right now. And Simonyan said on air that in order for Russia to show the West its nuclear might, we didn't even actually have to attack Washington DC or something, but instead we could actually just drop a bomb somewhere in Siberia. Мне вот тут один умный человек рассказал то, о чем я никогда не догадывалась, я не знала, я же не разбираюсь в этом всем, я не военный эксперт, я, знаете, дура баба в футболе ничего не понимаю. И вот человек, он инженер, радиоэлектроник, говорит мне, а ты знаешь, говорит, мы это знали еще в советское время, что если произвести в сотнях километрах на нашей же территории, где-нибудь над Сибирию, термоядерный взрыв, например, ядерный взрыв, ничего не будет на Земле. Ничего такого страшного, ни ядерной зимы, которую все боятся, ни чудовищной радиации, которая умрет всех, убьет всех вокруг, а кого не убьют, те умрут в течение 10 лет от онкологии. Этого ничего не будет, а что будет? Wow, Margarita, thanks for showing some compassion there, at least, you know. I usually expect less from Russian propagandists, but wow. She's actually saying that the things such as a nuclear winter, etc. are bad, and something we don't want. Now, that is refreshing to hear. <laughs> этого ничего не будет, а что будет? Так это будет выведено из строя вся радиоэлектроника, вся цифра, все спутники, вот эта камера, на которую меня сейчас снимают, вот этот телефон, который рядом со мной лежит. Все, мы вернемся с вами в год эдак какой-нибудь 93-й. Я вам скажу, чудесно же жили. Вот право, я mm -hmm. даже обрадуюсь. So yes, guys, uh, what can I even say? Clearly she has the expertise and stuff like this, but yes, guys, apparently if we just throw a thermonuclear bomb somewhere over Siberia, who cares about Siberia, by the way, right, guys? You know, Margarita Simonyana own like 50 apartments in Moscow and like 50 Rolls Royces. Siberia, who gives a fuck, right? <laughs> But yes, her point is essentially that if you want to show the West that we are really serious, we can blow up this nuke over Siberia and just destroy all the digital devices in the world. <laughs> I think Simonyan has been playing too much Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the original one. Remember that was that one part where like Russia basically exploded a huge nuke in the air to basically leave the United States of America without any power so that they could invade? She's basically saying we should do this. I don't know where uh, Makarov comes into play exactly, but <laughs> he's gotta be somewhere out there. And actually, I found it rather strange that Margarita Simonyan is saying that returning to 1993 is a good thing, because the 90s in Russia are regarded as a terrible decade of poverty, gang violence, etc. And it's actually used by Russian propaganda usually to say that Putin is great, because Putin basically got Russia out of that terrible period, which is not even true. But yeah, kind of inconsistent on this one. So yes guys, what unexpectedly actually happens after her uh, statement here is that a bunch of people in the Russian government actually got pretty mad over this, especially people from Siberia. 
For example, the mayor of Novosibirsk called out Simonyan and basically said that what she said was insane and uh, thermonuclear explosions actually do leave a lot of residue that would be very, very terrible. And if this would actually happen, this would obviously not be good for people who live in Siberia. <laughs> A member of the Russian state Zuma from the Communist Party also recorded a very angry message. Маргарита, ваше высказывание о том, что ради того, чтобы ваши дети не конфликтовали в школе среди сверстников из-за отсутствия у них гаджетов, вы в принципе рассматриваете возможность взрыва термоядерной бомбы над Сибирию, мы, сибиряки, восприняли как глубокое оскорбление. To Simanyan essentially saying that what she said is a no-no and that insulting Siberians like this is something that should never be allowed. And the press secretary of Vladimir Putin, uh, Piskov, also basically said that Margarita Simanyan is just a journalist and, you know, none of her statements should be taken seriously or as a statement of the Russian government and that we do not condone this and Russia is still a part of the nuclear non cessation agreement. So, pretty incredible, but also what happens is that a certain Moscow politician, Nikolai Karalyov, has actually filed a report to the Russian uh, prosecution claiming that the words uttered by Simanyan are extremists in their nature and that Simanyan should be checked for extremism. And what's even funnier is that Simanyan actually ended up responding to this claim with a lawsuit to this same exact guy accusing him of libel. Today I filed a lawsuit and I'm pressing charges of libel. Not just for the fact that he reported me to the police, but also for saying that I quote-unquote suggested conducting a nuclear strike on the territory of the Russian Federation. I of course did not suggest such nonsense and I could have never suggested it. Such a terrible claim destroys my reputation and gives me a ton of uh, <laughs> mental pain and damage. This is great, but once again, just like how Simonyan always does, she also went further and also elaborated on this as well on Vladimir Slavyov's show, actually. Сотни СМИ распространили про меня полную чушь о том, что я призвала нанести ядерный удар над Сибирию. Послушайте, я 20 с лишним лет работаю в эфире, меня никто не мог заподозрить в том, что я сумасшедшая, и для Димина... I mean... Speak for yourself. I think there's plenty of people that have suspected that you're insane. <laughs> Especially over the past, you know, one and a half years. И для деменции вроде мне как-то рановато, а для дебюта шизофрении вроде как-то поздновато. Разумеется, я ничего подобного не предлагала, не говорила, не говорить не могла. И теперь мне просто приходится судиться со всеми теми, кто этот фейк распространил, потому что это оскорбительно. Uh... Let's give her the benefit of the doubt, I guess. You could say that her quote was taken out of context, although I don't really think it was. And obviously, yes, I don't think she's like honestly suggesting the idea of nuking Siberia. <laughs> At least I would hope not, right? You didn't start like a campaign, you know, promoting this or anything. You're not being fully serious, it's just something you said, I get it. However, claiming that you didn't say it and that it's fake? Once again, I want to criticize her here, right? However, I really do think that she, you know, can't be any other way at this point because what Russian propaganda essentially does is that they say one thing and then the next day they say the other thing and then they say that whatever happened before was fake and that information was fake. Anything that basically does not fit with the current agenda is fake, so... Yesterday, maybe she felt it when she was saying that, but today, it's fake. That video never existed, guys. 1984, Ministry of Truth, it's been wiped from your brain. Where the fuck is that, uh... <laughs> yeah, this is, that was my, uh, best man in black impression. Thank you, guys. Oh my god, I mean, this just shows the very, like, fucking core of Russian propaganda and, like, Russian propagandists and what they really are like. These people will say anything, and these people know that they're basically untouchable at this point, pretty much, and that they will get away with everything. So yeah, if you point out their mistake, it's fake, and also, you might just go to prison for libel. Это оскорбительно для меня и для тех людей, кто это услышал. В первую очередь для граждан Сибири. Уважаемые граждане Сибири, ничего такого я, естественно, не предлагала и не произносила. It's fucking hilarious. The reason why I'm laughing is because she, in particular, said citizens of Siberia. You know how there's this whole conversation around Russia right now, how, you know, a ton of people are basically saying that Russia needs to be ripped into many parts, decolonized in a sense, and, you know, there's these maps going around with, like, you know, United States of Siberia, whatever the fuck. I honestly think most of these maps are complete nonsense. However, it seems like in her mind, Siberia is already a different country, you know, because she is... <laughs> she made the effort to say citizens of Siberia. Simanyan has been a supporter of the colonization of Russia this entire time. The fuck? 
И, Жители знаешь, Сибири. Володь, мы же с тобой в какой, Маргарита, какой иначе жизни они, ты живешь? Да, иначе да? они опять тебя будут преследовать. А... Жители Сибири. А то сейчас скажут, что Маргарита Сивна признала а граждан, граждане Сибири. Сибири да, а... сейчас признала Сибири. Жители Сибири. Thank you, Solovyov. Thank you. You came. You came in for the rescue. So yes, guys. Once again, rich crap propagandists from Moscow insults the regular people of Russia, and nothing is done to them. Oh, what are you? Did you think Russia has like equal rights and the law applies to people equally? No, it does not. Also, one thing that I do find very characteristic about this entire event is that it just shows kind of how out of touch these privileged, you know, people who live like a luxury life in Moscow, how really detached these people truly are from the rest of Russia and from like the reality of life in provincial Russia, where I'm from, for example. It really reminds me of this one meme we have in Russia called Bamin Varonish. Varonish is basically a city in Russia and the phrase Bamin Varonish has kind of been a meme in Russia for many years now and it essentially started with Russia's war with Georgia in 2008, actually when Russia, after the war, has provided the occupied region of South Ossetia with a lot of financial aid, which actually made up apparently three yearly budgets of the city of Varonyash for that year. And apparently people in Varonyash at the time were making the joke that they should have bombed Varonyash instead so that at least they would build normal roads in Varonyash, you know. <laughs> Obviously making fun of the fact that Russia would rather, you know, expand its territories rather than make sure that the territories they already have are nice and uh, actually livable. But also there's a sort of anecdote that basically involves the idea of uh, a nuclear war scenario between Russia and America and the whole meme is that, like Putin is talking on the phone and he's saying, Lavrov just called me and he said to not attack New York because his daughter lives there. This politician called me to not bomb Italy because his daughter lives there. This guy called me to not bomb France because he has a villain there. We can't even nuke anything. What is even left to bomb at this point? And uh, the other person in the conversation basically responds with, well, I guess we should just bomb Varonish because I don't think we really have anybody who we care about there. <laughs> I love it. It's a classic. So, uh, yeah, this nuke Siberia situation really, you know, uh, does have a lot of parallels with this uh, little anecdotes. Little anecdotes that is definitely, you know, <laughs> not becoming reality, guys. Yes, I really, truly love seeing my country turn into absolute insanity and I love, you know, making sarcastic jokes about it. Then I go and cry myself to sleep after filming these videos. So yes, guys, uh, once again, just another perfect example of how Russian propaganda just keeps evolving, or I guess you could say degrading. And also this overall degradation of Russian propaganda and like, you know, the tricks that they use also basically leads to these propagandists themselves going off to deep ends and basically completely losing their marbles because they know that their words don't come under any scrutiny. They have that very nice comfortable place in the pantheon of Russian propaganda that basically allows them to say whatever without any repercussions while you, the average citizen, watch your mouth because if you say one wrong words, we're gonna put you to jail for 7 to 15 years, you know? Yeah, I love it. I fucking love it. Anyways, guys, I want to say to end this video is uh, I'm uh, I'm sending positive vibes to everybody out there watching wherever you're from, you know, stay safe out there, especially if you're from Siberia, you know, watch your back. <laughs> and yeah, I'd just like to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do like what I do in this channel, if you guys want to pay my rents, then go over to the link down in the description and become a YouTube member. It's basically like YouTube's own version of Patreon. It's the best way to support me. Or if you want to do a one-time donation, you can do a super thanks underneath this video. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.